What do we have here? We have a free schematic diagram tool right here. I tell you, it's totally for free and you can actually get this tool for free. So looking at the tool right here, it's not too bad for a free tool, you understand? So with this tool, you can gain access to test points of mobile phones, a lot of grams. So if I go to this option that you see right here, which is test point, you can see that we have uh, different brands right here. And once you click on the brand, you are going to see different test points of each model right here. So you can see we have a lot of test points. The, the images are not that, the, the quality is not that good, but it's not bad for a free tool because you can actually see where you need to, yeah, you need to perform the tax. You understand? So if you come to the ISP pinout point right here, which is very important, it's very hard to get ISP pinout for, for mobile phones. But if I click on this tool right here, click on the ISP pinout right here, come to Xiaomi, then you will see that we have a lot of models right here. And once you click on each model, you are going to see the ISP the ISP pin out. If we come to Samsung right here, you see that we have a couple of models right here. And once you click on there, it's going to show the ISP pin out. And you can actually use this then connect to any programming box that you have to, to either reprogram, back up or write data in the EMMC. You understand? So if you come right here, the, the toy is still under construction. That, that's why if I come right here to Infinix, you will see that it doesn't have uh, models right here because the tool is still new tool, you understand? The tool is still a new tool and they are still updating a lot of things. So if I come to hardware solutions right here, this option right here is very important because it can help you do jumper in a lot of devices, you understand? So if I click on Xiaomi right here, then click right here. So you can see that this is touch screen width. So if you want to jump a uh, touchscreen problem, so if you are troubleshooting touchscreen problems, then you can use this image to know exactly where you have to check. If we come to network section right here, it shows you how you can troubleshoot network, shows all the ICs, then shows the component, then with the voltage that you need to expect in a particular component right here. Which means that if you don't get that voltage in a particular comp component right here, the network of that phone it's not going to work, you understand? So if you come to image right here, you can see the complete image secure. The tool is not that good yet, yeah, but it, that's reasonable because it's a new tool, it's a free tool. The, the person who manufactured the tool is still trying to program the tool, is still trying to do a lot of things like to put the tool together. But the image right now is not good, yeah. That's the truth, it's not good, but you can manage it in case you actually want a free tool because this is a free tool. So, if I come to Samsung right here, you can see a few models with the charging weights. You can see that it's Samsung E50. So, it shows the charging circuit right here, the charging IC, and it shows the VPH connection right here. It shows everything. If I come to right here, you can see that this is Samsung G. 200 right here which shows the mic microphone line supply line it shows all that right here so if i come to vivo right here then check so you are going to see all that so we have the schematic diagram section right here which is very important so this is the real schematic diagram option so it has a samsung schematics huawei lenovo lg and a lot right here oppo xiaomi then we come right here we have iphone schematic as well so uh, from iphone 6 to iphone x that's not bad at all for a free tool you understand so we also have ipad schematics right here so what i'm going to do right here i, I haven't used the tool you understand so i haven't used the tool we are going to take a look then see how everything is right here then at the end of the, the the video i'm going to show you how you can download this tool and how you can install the tool in your pc okay so if i let's check on samsung schematic right here so let me see a10 schematic okay this is the schematic diagram right here just click on there you can see the search icon right here so you can see we'll open up the schematic diagram so actually right here, this is a log diagram. We are going to scroll down, you will see the PCB view, which is the board view, right? The PCB layout right here. 
so you can move it around to see the site. Wow, the truth is that I cannot use this. Yeah, the schematic part of this though, right? I cannot use this because the quality right here, the quality right here is really bad. The, the, the image quality, you need to be able to see all these numbers that you are seeing right here. But you can manage it. I'm not saying you can manage. But for me, I cannot use this when I have uh, other schematics like uh, like the estate bone, you know, that I can use. But if you don't have those, then you can use this. But if you need those, you can still send me a message on WhatsApp to purchase a license for Boni or Estate Schematic. You understand? But this tool is not bad for a free tool, like, like I keep saying. So if you come to the iPhone section right here, let's say if you want to check iPhone 6S plus Schematic Diagram. So we are going to double tap on that. It's going to show the search iPhone right here. Okay. So as you can see right here, we have our schematic diagram. Have our schematic diagram right here, even though the image is not good at all. Yeah, I can tell you what, the image right here is not that good, but you can manage it. Because you find difficulties in seeing the normal right here, but uh, I'm using a very big screen right here. That's why the image too is not that really good because I'm using a big screen. Meanwhile, the image itself is not perfect. So with a bigger screen, the image won't be showing clearly. So if you use a smaller screen, you will be able to see at least. But I'm not saying that the image is perfect. It's not too bad. It's just okay for a free throw to understand. So you can actually scroll down, check the settings that you want. But it doesn't have any zoom. So maybe I don't know how to. It doesn't have any zoom option. I've tried to press keyboard, mouse to zoom in and to zoom out. And it doesn't have a, a search option to actually search. The secure that you want, you understand. So I just hope that, that, that more features get, get get into the tool as the, the tool updates to other versions in the future. You understand. So as you can see, this is how everything is. You can scroll down, scroll down, see other secure. So the best part of this tool is this option right here, which is the hardware solution. It's very important. You can make good use of this. You can make good use of this. Do your jump pass when you click and you click it's going to show the different models it's going to show the brand like oppo right here when you click on oppo it's going to show oppo devices right here different models with the particular uh jump pass solution right here so we have uh, oppo a39 right here a39 you have the bag light solution jumper as you can see, this is it right here. It's clear enough for you to use and do your jump. But we have the, the display light waves. We have the bag light waves right here to understand. So we have a lot of things. Okay, if you check right here, you will see that we have our whole setup right here. And for you to download this setup, just go to my video description, then head onto my website, and you will be able to see a link to download this setup. So once you download the setup, the setup has a password to install, but I'm going to show you the password right here. So once you download the setup, all you are going to do, right click and click on extract to right here. If you don't have this, then make sure you install WinRAR to be able to extract it the same way. You understand? So once you extract it, you will have this folder right here. All you have to do, get into the folder, then extract this other one right here again so you are going to click on extract here instead so the password right here the password is very simple let me click on show password right here so that you will see so that's the password 2024 and it's going to require a password again a hate and i'm going to show you what you are going to put there so just run the setup minimize that so click on next and you are going to input 2024 right here again so once you do that just click on next you can also click on browse right here to select the particular directory in which you want the tool to install in so once you do that you click on next and it's going to install the tool once the tool is done installing you will have the desktop icon in your screen once you launch it everything will be good to go i'm not going to do that again because i already installed the tool so thank you and see you soon.